Come sunshine, switch my heart and do you, you will find It's love for you, all I got is love for you Call me Yes, it's true, coffee is important for you In the morning Hope you guys are well Monday morning, already hot But I'll take coffee anyway you're welcome to the show. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe, hit that notification bell and share. We're delighted to have you here. And we're excited to see the channel grow by your continued participation, not only in viewership, but by liking and sharing so that more people can get to see this content. Um, I told you guys we'll be having a few announcements for the show, which we were supposed to have given last week. So Wilanji was supposed to be here to give the announcements, uh, but things beyond our control. Uh, and so we did not give you those announcements. We'll be having a, an independence show soon. We're in the month of October, our month of independence. We'll be having an independence show soon. Uh, it should be interesting. Um, a lot of things lined up for that particular one. So stay tuned, get subscribing and uh, share. Yes, so we have a lot of we have a lot of exciting things to discuss today. Well, not too exciting. It wasn't it was a slow week last week. So we're giving a recap of the news that happened through the week last week, uh, the weekend and I guess as early as today morning. Once again, if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe, hit that notification bell and share. I am delighted always to have you here. Hope you're coffeeed up and ready to go. So what do we have uh, today? To begin with, the fuel prices have been revised for the month of October. Uh, we have been told what the prices will look like um, compared to last month's prices, which were already high. Uh, driving has become a complicated thing now in Zambia due to the frequent increments of fuel prices, which is making it hard not only to drive, but to do business. You know that conducting business requires uh, cheap electricity, trip, uh, cheap transportation and whatnot. Uh, this has become a bit challenging because we are seeing an ever increasing. Do you guys remember that before we had a change of government, we were saying fuel prices were too high and there were 17 kwacha and we were being threatened that they'll be taken to 20 kwacha. But listen to the prices now. During the period under review, the two fundamentals that affect the price of fuel in Zambia moved in the same unfavorable direction. That is, prices of oil on the international market increased while the kwacha depreciated against the United States dollar. The combined impact has put upward pressure on the domestic fuel prices. Based on the foregoing, and in order to guarantee security of supply of petroleum products on the domestic market, the ERB has made the following changes to the national uniform pump prices for October 2023. Petrol. The current price of petrol is 29 kwacha 42 ingwe. The new price will be 29 kwacha 98 ingwe, an absolute change of 56 ingwe per litre, and an increase in price of 1.9%. Low sulfur diesel, currently at 26 kwacha 88 ingwe, will now be 29 kwacha 96 ingwe, an absolute variance of 3 kwacha 8 ingwe per litre, a change of 11.46%. Kerosene, as we indicated at our last briefing, will be held constant. What do people use kerosene for? I wonder why it's even mentioned in these things. Anyway, this is what the schedule looks like. Uh, we can see that the current prices, which are not current anymore, but old, uh, petrol being 29.42 has changed to 29.98. Los Alpha being 26.88 has changed to 29.96. And kerosene, which again is unnecessary, has changed from 20.44 to 20.44, no change at all. 
yeah, this has become a complication. We weren't expecting things to get this bad. We were expecting things to change quite quickly, but no. Uh, how many months has it been now? It's been over a year since we had a change of government and things have changed for the worse uh, on the fuel end of things. You don't say. And we're simply wondering what exactly does the next one year look like for us fuel wise if things are moving at this pace. Also, what does that mean for people who are conducting businesses that are heavily reliant on transportation? I'm talking, I'm not talking about big businesses. I'm talking about small businesses. I mean, the Yangos of this world, the um, Ulendos of this world, the taxi drivers of this world who are, uh, who have now resigned to uh, Yango and whatnot. So how do these people sustain their businesses? We also know that electricity prices are ever increasing. So how do these people sustain their businesses and livelihoods uh, on the premise of this? I mean, how do people who get on buses handle the bus fares now uh, with, the, with the new increments in uh, in fuel. So this has become a complication that I don't know how uh, our government is going to handle. But on a lighter note, this past weekend we had the uh, Kwacha Music Awards. I hope I'm saying that correct. Sun FM Kwacha Music Awards. And look at this horrible performance. <laughs> This lovely gentleman is known as King Illest. What were you doing, sir? Do the Kwacha Music Awards have such horrible sound systems? Or do people just not know how to perform live in Zambia? What exactly is going on? <laughs> what's going on? Really, if you know what's going on, leave it in the comments. I'm shocked that we have a big music award in Zambia with such sound. Anyway, moving on. First lady, former first lady is back in the news. Uh, she was appearing in court for the um, allegations leveled against her with a few other individuals. Let's check it out. Following her recent arrest, former first lady Esther Lungu and four others, including two police officers, have been taken to court over alleged theft of three cars and money laundering involving over 1.5 million. Kwacha. Mrs. Lungu is also facing a charge of concealing 400,000 US dollars, which is reasonably suspected to be proceeds of crime. I like the word they have used there, reasonably suspected <laughs> to be proceeds of crime. Yeah, so she was in court. This is not really what we're focusing on because we've already reported on this matter. We know that uh, she gave 400,000 US dollars to be kept for her by a lovely family member uh, who squandered the money on buying properties. And when this said first lady went to seize these properties or place demand on these properties, uh, these people surrender, surrendered the properties all right, but later went around and reported her to the police saying they have uh, been stolen, that these motor vehicles that were surrendered to her have been stolen because uh, it seems the names were still, the white books were still in their names. And her husband, our former president, uh, Mr. Edgar Chagwalungu, was with her at the court to show his solidarity and support for her. But he was in high spirits and uh, heavily influenced by Fauna 5. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, as I always say, I think he genuinely is a fun man to be around. I think it's fun to be around the former president. You'll probably be laughing all the time. He'll probably keep you fit since he does jogging every now and then, uh, which has become a national threat. And uh, yeah, I think he's a fun man to be around. So he's singing the famous Nadi Tumpaine by um, a hip hop duo, Fauna Five. 
yeah if you're not subscribed please subscribe hit that notification bell and share uh due to the recent fuel or rather due to the recent millimeter hikes one zambian man took to the internet to teach us how we should angrily eat in shima from now on Guess who I think would utilize this tactic of eating shima very well? Try to guess. If you can guess, leave it in the comments before I tell you. Zambia police. <laughs> because all that this style involves is slapping. Yeah, anyway. The Attorney General has urged the Constitutional Court not to entertain a petition in which Sean Tembo is challenging the President's foreign trips, which he feels are a waste of public resources. Attorney General Muli Lokavesha has instead asked the court to dismiss the petition because it is frivolously without merit and the petitioner is not entitled to the reliefs he is seeking. <laughs> One Sean Tembo. Sean Tembo honestly is becoming a joke because nothing he does can now be taken seriously. Do you guys remember the video of him going to buy a calculator because he said... The president does not know how to count. So he was live on Facebook in a shop buying a calculator, which he intended on taking to state house uh, just to teach the president a few lessons on, ma on mathematics, long division and whatnot. Uh, for those of you that went as far as high school, you probably learned of quadratic equations. Sean Tembo felt the need to educate the president on such principles of mathematics. And speaking of him being a jock, you can tell even on his interviews, by his responses, by how unreasonable he seems. We wonder, is he really in politics for political gain or political causes? Or he's here to entertain us and make us laugh? Look at this interview he did with Costa, uh, in which he made us laugh. Are you daring the, 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 the government? Are you daring the powers that be? Or is this your way of playing politics that you should always put up comments that incense? I mean, when you talk about President Hitchilema has plans to assassinate or poison opposition leaders and you can't justify with proof. Isn't, isn't that really you playing to the gallery and inciting? I mean, you further post comments like Apaso Mambala, Anvela Bueno, Atari Inside. Even his bedroom performance was better last night. Is this not really going to, to sinking too shallow? So, of course, I've always said this, but I'll say it again. I don't manage the party Facebook page. I'm a presidential candidate mm. for my party, mm. and my party manages my page. Even President Hakainde Ichidema, he can't tell me that he manages the page himself. Mm. So I don't understand why people would not understand when you say that you've got a team, a media team, which manages the page. Of course, is, we is, agree is, on this, the team. Is, is, let is me this just a, finish. Let me, let me finish. Because some of these comments come yes. under the Sean yes. Temple yes. Pres both, page. Both, both the pages. Yeah. So um, the bottom line is that I've got a team of people who manage my pages. If you look at um, uh, uh, some of the alleged posts which were made, they were made when I was in custody. The same uh, post that you are talking about, it was made on a Saturday. On Saturday, I was in custody. So are you putting you blame so on, it's your, a matter of common are you sense. putting blame uh, on your team? But but surely the backstop, putting, the, the backstop, putting, you, the backstop, such you. This this is the image of the politics you and your party are playing. I'm not putting the blame on anybody. I've got a media team. I had that media team to do a job, and as far as I'm concerned, they are doing a good job so far. So so what do you make of these posts? Don't you find them a bit childish and and incensing? Not at all. Mm. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. They are not as childish or as insulting as uh, when President Haka in the HMA said in Kasama uh, and used the word I'll, that is what I'll, I'll not allow you to use such words on TV. Yes, it's a very on bad TV, word. On TV, Comrade Tembo, you need to apologize for that. It's a very bad word. Yes, but, but President Haka in the HMA But I'll not allow you to use it to the masses. That's what President Haka in the HMA said. Not on this program. I will not allow you. Yes, that's what President Haka in the HMA said. You need to retract that uh, okay, on, retract. On, on a national program. I retract the word. Yeah. Do you know why Satan had the audacity to take Jesus to a high place and show him the kingdoms of the world and say, if you bow to me, I will give you the kingdoms of the world? Why did he have the effrontery, as Nigerians would say, 
to show Jesus that and say that to him. It's because when God came to Adam and asked him saying, Adam, did you eat the fruit I told you not to eat? He blamed the wife. And when God went to the wife, what have you done? She blamed Satan and so gave him the responsibility over the earth. She gave him the responsibility and this is exactly what Sean Tembo is doing. So his media team might as well stand for presidency next time so they can be the ones to get the zero. Anyway, it is because of such behavior, <laughs> though people do, people think uh, that this behavior will make them popular, it always brings them back into the default position. Remember Chimba Kamwili and how he was fainting all over the screen and trying to win our sympathy, saying he's got all manner of uh, medical issues. Sean Tembo was arrested and his sister was crying foul. We were the nine of us, now we've only remained four. Now even the four that we have, you want to take away. <laughs> anyway, look at the video. Ah, we, no, no. No, there's nine, there's a four. My brother is sick like this, I'm begging myself, honestly. Ah, oh, no. Dramatic much? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that sounds like a very rehearsed cry. Anyway, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell and share. Uh, leave in the comments what you think about the show so far. And um, we'll be glad to see you on Wednesday. I'll be back on Wednesday with a rebuttal and Friday with Bible Talks. You do stay tuned. Uh, bye for now. Hey, like what you see? I know you do. Hit the button below to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Ciao.